Einstein, with the help of the equation of the geodetic line, also easily deduces the laws by which new tensors can be formed from other tensors by differentiation. So derivatives, or in this case covariant derivatives, are very important in the construction of the theory. Now, Einstein considers the derivative of a scalar, which he writes as d phi over ds, and this is, of course, equal to d phi dx mu dx mu ds. This one on the left hand side is a tensor because we have a scalar which is a tensor. The differential of a scalar is also a tensor and here we also have a differential ds that's the invariant. So we know that's invariant and therefore this on the left is a tensor. This expression on the right dx mu ds is also a tensor, which is well known, and then we are left with this, which must also be a tensor. And Einstein defined this to be a mu equal to d phi over dx mu, which is a covariant for vector, and it's the gradient, if you want, of phi. Einstein defines also d phi over ds as psi. And that's still a scalar and it is a tensor according to what we have just said. Now, if we differentiate psi with respect to s, we get another tensor and Einstein calls this chi. If we consider the expression for psi, this can be written as d squared phi with respect to x mu, x nu times dx mu over ds dx nu over ds plus d phi dx mu d squared x mu ds squared. Now it is not so straightforward in this case to derive that this is a tensor, but if we confine ourselves to considering the curve along which we have differentiated to be a geodetic, we can substitute for d squared x mu ds squared, the expression for the geodetic, because we know that for a geodetic d squared x mu ds squared, also let's change the index here. Instead of mu, I will rewrite tau for the sake of convenience. Then we have plus Christopher symbol mu nu tau dx mu ds dx nu ds and this is equal to zero. So for the sake of convenience, I'm going to rewrite this as tau and also this one as tau. So we can substitute for the second derivative minus this term here. And therefore we can rewrite chi as d squared phi dx mu dx nu minus Christoffel symbol mu nu tau d phi over dx tau dx mu ds dx nu ds and this is the expression we want. Now in this case it is easy to see that this one here is a tensor, this one here is a tensor, and this one here is a tensor. Therefore, we must have a tensor here. Einstein defines this tensor to be A mu nu, covariant tensor of the second rank. And this tensor represents a particular type of covariant derivative. Einstein defines also A mu equal to d phi dx mu, and from here, he finds that a mu nu is equal to d a mu over dx nu minus Christopher symbol mu nu tau a tau. This is an example of a convariant derivative that I have also derived in a course on general relativity in a different fashion. This is the way that Einstein derives the concept of covariant derivative, but his job 
is not finished here. Why? Well, because in this particular case, a mu has the form of a gradient. But Einstein wants to derive a general expression which remains true even if a mu is not a gradient. To prove that this formula here holds even if a mu is not a gradient, Einstein observes that if we multiply d phi over dx mu by another scalar, which is a tensor psi, now if psi is a scalar, then this expression remains a tensor because this expression here is a tensor. The gradient of a scalar is a tensor. Psi is a scalar, therefore it is a tensor. All in all, we get a tensor by multiplying two tensors. From here, Einstein defines another tensor, S mu, as given by a sum like this. Some scalar psi 1, derivative of phi 1, with respect to x mu. Then it defines other three tensors, which are very similar to this first one. So I have psi 2, d phi 2, over dx mu, plus psi 3, d phi 3 over dx mu and then the last one plus psi 4 d phi 4 over dx mu. S mu is a tensor because it is a sum of four tensors. Each one of these terms is a tensor. Now Einstein observes that any vector a mu can be defined from this expression. Why? Because, for example, we can choose psi 1 equal to a1. Then we can define psi 2 equal to a2, psi 3 equal to a3, and psi 4 equal to a4. And then Einstein defines phi 1 as the coordinate x1, phi 2 as the coordinate x2, phi 3 as the coordinate x3, and phi 4 as the coordinate x4. Now it is very easy to see that these fields s mu equal to a mu if you just substitute these expressions there. It's easy to see. So, what we are left to do is we have to prove that if we define a mu like this, we still get this rule for the covariant derivative. Why does it suffice to prove that we can write a mu like this? Well, because if it is true for this particular case, then it will also be true for this case here, since we are just adding similar terms and derivatives are linear operators. So if we prove it for this case, we will prove it very generally. And this is what Einstein states. Now let's take this expression here and multiply it by psi, psi d squared phi dx mu dx nu minus Christopher symbol mu nu tau psi d phi over dx tau. Let's rewrite the first term in this way. We rewrite this as d over dx nu of psi times d phi over dx mu. Then we also have to subtract the derivative of psi with respect to nu multiplied by d phi over dx mu and these first two terms are exactly equal to this term here and then we subtract the Christopher symbol mu nu tau and then we have psi times d phi over dx tau and this is equal to psi times a mu nu. Here we see that this expression is a tensor and 
this expression here is also a tensor and therefore also this expression here this term minus this term here is also a tensor so we have proved that d over dx nu psi d phi over dx mu minus Christoffel mu nu tau times psi d phi over dx mu is a tensor and this proves that this formula here holds for any vector a mu and that is the covariant derivative now from here Einstein can also easily define the extension of this formula to higher order rank tensors. He restricted himself to the case of a tensor of the second rank, since this suffices to give a clear picture of how the formula works with higher rank tensors. As it is quite easy to see, any second rank tensor can be represented as a sum of tensors of the first rank. So, for example, A mu be new. If we sum multiple of these tensors, so for example this will be the pair A1, B1, then we have another pair A mu2, B nu2, and so on and so forth. We have several of those pairs. In particular, this index here can be equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. This one here can also be equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. And we have all possible combinations. So, for example, we also have the term a mu 3, b nu 1, and so on and so forth, as I said. So, since we can have multiple combinations of them, in general, we need to consider 16 of these sums, which is 4 by 4. In this fashion, we can construct any tensor of the second rank. So, it will be sufficient to deduce the expression for the extension of the formula that we have found for just covariant vectors, if we simply consider second rank tensors of this kind, which are given by two one rank tensors. For a one rank tensor, a mu, we know that the covariant derivative is d a mu over dx sigma minus Christopher symbol sigma mu tau a tau and similarly for b nu we have d b nu dx sigma minus christopher symbol sigma nu tau b tau now if we multiply the first equation here by b nu and if we multiply the second equation by a mu and we add these two equations together, we get the following. Derivative with respect to x sigma of a mu b nu minus Christopher sigma mu tau. Here we have a tau b nu minus Christopher sigma nu tau which multiplies a mu b tau like this. But we have found simply what is the covariant derivative of a second rank tensor. So in this case, Einstein writes a mu nu sigma, because this will be a third rank tensor created by the operation of covariant differentiation. And here we have the derivative of a second rank tensor a mu nu with respect to x sigma minus Christopher symbol sigma mu tau a tau nu minus Christopher symbol sigma nu tau a mu tau and this gives the clear picture of how the transformation works for covariant tensors of any rank it's easy to generalize from this.